Leon, what are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're struggling to press a gallon of water. I don't see you doing anything to better yourself, you lazy idiot. Well, that's because I'm perfect the way I am. That is unbelievably false. No, but seriously, what are you doing? Listen, I was just scrolling through Instagram, and I got caught up in a couple of fitness inspiration pics, and I wanted to get a quick sweat on. You will always be fat. Uh, I don't know why I keep you around. You are, that is unbelievable. Hey sisters, welcome back to a brand new caramel apple chutney recipe. My name is Leon Lush, as you already know, and I am just in love with your willingness to be here with me for just a couple of minutes today. All right, guys, be brutally honest. How did I do, okay? I'm trying to scoop up some of the James Charles demographic on YouTube because, I mean, he crushes it. If you look at the numbers, James Charles just crushes it. And I need a little boost, so I'm trying to, like, find ways to reach, you know, other demographics that might not normally click on a Leon Lush video, right? But anyhow, you already do done did it, know what it is, okay? You know why you clicked on this video, because you want to be part of the most viewed, the most revered, the most liked, the most favorited, the most commented, most unique and original series on YouTube.com forward slash Leon Lush. <laughs> That's right, you're here for a brand new episode of Pow, 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 Boom, 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 Pow. That's right, one more again, Pow, Insufferable Instagram. Today is a bit different, however, because we're not going to be just focusing on one account, you see. We're going to be sifting through an assortment of posts from the common man, the lay person, the next door neighbor types that have embarked on a quest for more likes and follows through the use of obnoxious hashtags. I feel so weak today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're just, you're only pressing 225 pounds above your head like it's a broomstick. <laughs> Pansy. I wanted to marry my dreams, so I cheated on fear and broke up with my doubt. <laughs> Whew. That's, uh, okay, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll smash that like. Fitspiration. Late night workout, three 12 minute workouts, two exercises that consisted of one minute cardio, the other weight training. Last workout was 12 minutes, AM wrap, one minute roll machine, and 20 tries and push ups. My arms were on fire, pushing into Tuesday swole. Tell me about maximizing your training. <laughs> what, what was that? Let's take it to the east side, palm tree emoji. Okay, what is this? Am I not browsing through the Fitspiration hashtag right now? You're in a floral print crew neck, taking a selfie by the bay, what the... Okay, there are three people in this world that I simply just do not like, okay? Murderers, pedophiles, and people that incorrectly hashtag their Instagram posts. Hashtag Fitspiration. The grind is unreal. I'm looking to connect and collaborate with other fitness influencers. DM me at my bio. Awesome, be sure to check out our page now. Hashtag Men's Fashion Certified. I just, I mean, honestly, honestly, is there anything worse than Instagram comments? I... Can it be summer now, please? I mean, I gotta tell you, I am, after seeing that, I am fit-spired. I am ready for, I'm ready for a workout. See, my man Jeff Fitness here doesn't even bother with a caption. Just gets that pump going, boom, badass mirror selfie, slaps 30 hashtags on it, pff, send it. <laughs> I gotta say, though, that the lack of gradient leading into the blurred background is a little bit jarring, though. And, you know, I'm gonna say something. Hey, Jeff. Gadzooks, look at that pec definition. My only concern is how jarring the background blur is without the proper gradient. Maybe you could use something more appropriate next time. Go and grace. <laughs> I'm just picturing Jeff like on his way home from the gym, hearing his phone notification going off and be like, oh yeah, sweet. What? <laughs> you know, as much as I hate them, there's something so beautiful about the hashtag, isn't there? I mean, Jeff's just going about his normal PM workout like he always does. He lives on the other side of the country from me. Hits those gains up hard, thinks he's looking good, has the pump going, boom. Mirror selfie throws it up on Instagram like he always does after a good workout. And for no other reason than the fact that he included the hashtag Fitspiration, that selfie is now going to be seen by hundreds of thousands of people all around the world. I mean, what a time to be alive. Well, you know what's even more beautiful than Instagram hashtagging? Protecting your privacy and precious data from malicious people. Do you use the internet? 
I have a hunch that you do. And I'm sure that you know that every single thing you do online is being tracked and logged by your internet service provider as we speak. And heaven forbid you connect to a public Wi-Fi. Those networks are about as secure as posting your credit card information to the front page of Reddit. Uh, but seriously, no, this is, this is exactly why I use ExpressVPN. Privacy, security, peace of mind. ExpressVPN is a virtual private network that not only keeps your data safe and secure from hackers, it also keeps you anonymous and protects your privacy so that no matter what device you're using, it doesn't leave a footprint that can be followed. For instance, I do a lot of work in coffee shops on public Wi-Fi, so I always fire up ExpressVPN beforehand so I know that everything I'm doing online is secure. Because with my pristine reputation, I can't have hackers getting a hold of any of my secrets. Uh, Leon, I think you just exposed yourself. You just choose the network that you want, hit connect, and boom, peace of mind, baby. Additionally, they have faster speeds than any other VPN provider, 24 seven customer service, and they're available on all your devices, Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Linux, you name it. Oh, and by the way, it's less than $7 a month with a 30 day money back guarantee. So take back your internet privacy today and find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in my description box, expressvpn.com forward slash Leon Lush. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash Leon Lush for three months free with a one year package. By visiting expressvpn.com forward slash Leon Lush, not only are you helping protect your privacy, you're really helping to support the Leon Lush YouTube channel. So I wanna genuinely thank ExpressVPN for supporting me and creators like myself and helping the creator economy to provide you content online. And I want to thank you guys genuinely for watching these videos and considering sponsors like ExpressVPN. <laughs> Hashtag leg day. Man, my legs are cooked, right? Got a six pack of eggs in my bag though. <laughs> you know, just even when you're not motivated, just be motivated. Inspiration. There's a sunshine flowing through you. Yeah, that was uh, that was a little awkward. Sorry about that, guys. It sounded better in my head when I was doing it. I was trying to come up with something fitspirational for you all at the gym earlier today, and it just uh, didn't come out the way I envisioned, I guess. That's weird. Trying to get that juicy fruit boot E. Really wanted to rhyme. Drop your favorite glute exercise down below. <laughs> that one's easy. Lay in power. <laughs> nah, I'm not, I'm not going to send that. That's, that's inappropriate. Anyways, the over-the-shoulder bathroom mirror selfie routine seems to be working out quite well for you, Tina. And uh, this mandatory hashtag salad in the captions there, A+. plus. I really think you probably got a bright future ahead if you keep this up. Is it lighting or nah? <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I've been eating a fuck ton of donuts since then. Not as tight, but we'll get it back. Riveting stuff, Eddie. You are looking sharp as a tack. And this hashtag salad here that you included tells me that you might appreciate a like. And my friend, I'm happy to oblige. Enjoy. Our little man is four weeks old today. Oh, adorable. Remember earlier when I said how much I hate incorrect use of hashtags on Instagram photos? Well, this is a perfect example of how to nail it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That little man is fit as f Chilling on a Friday night. <laughs> I love this picture because this is actually exactly how I chill on Friday nights. Please tell me you get laid every day, right? <laughs> My wife can't get enough flexing arm emoji, blushing emoji, 100 emoji. Well, check your DMs, lots of lettuce. I just sent you a message. <laughs> what just happened? What was that? I am blown away! Now listen, I'm not trying to discourage anyone from posting pictures of their life or their journey or from trying to inspire other people through documenting their own triumphs, right? And I do this in jest, of course. And you're probably thinking, but Leon, a lot of these people aren't even influencers. Leave them alone. What are you doing? And this is what I have to say to that, okay? The second you put a 30 hashtag garbage fire in the comments of your post or on the post itself. That tells me that you want to be discovered, right? You're putting that 30 hashtag nonsense on your post because you probably downloaded a 9.99 PDF on how to grow on Instagram and so you just copy and paste it on every post. And that tells me, that tells me that you want to be discovered. You want to find that extra like to help make you feel better, right? And in doing so, you just got discovered by the tomato mafia, and this is this is what happens. Я не встала и ударила ее.
Uh, I don't speak Russian, uh, so this is difficult. I do speak Fitzpiration hashtag, though, which is how I found this. Thank you, Christ, because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, I've been working out all wrong. When you motherfucker get to the level where Snapchat recognizes your chest and your abs as a face, then you got a body. <laughs> okay, now this is the content I signed up for. You're exactly what we are looking for. Click our link in my bio to get you featured and be our athlete. God damn Instagram comments. Inspiration. Life is a journey, not a destination. Be who you want to be, not what others want to see. I gotta say, King's Blood really has this game on lock. You just tilt the head a bit, stare longingly at yourself on your phone as you try and frame your picture in the mirror, snap that shot, and then come up with some bullshit generic quote for the caption. And your money, baby. Instagram really is the perfect vehicle for narcissism, is it not? I mean, as I sit here, there are thousands and thousands of people around the world right now, at this moment, trying to frame the perfect selfie that they're gonna upload to their account and pray to God that they get more likes on this one than they did the last one. It's just such a weird, it's just such a weird thing. Look, I'm part of it. I'm not immune to the desire for likes and views to help me feel nice, right? I think everybody has that part of them that, that feels good when they're noticed. It's part of the human condition. Everybody just wants to be noticed. And social media has given us an opportunity to do that in a way that has never before been done previous to the last 10 and 15 years. And it's like human psychology, I don't think, is caught up to it yet. And that's why everyone's fucking depressed all the time. Wow, another girl in a gym bent over in yoga pants. Groundbreaking content. If I had to sum up the fitness demo on Instagram, it would just be girls in yoga pants doing squats or bent over rows set to shitty pop music. Sure, they all have like 40 million followers and make truckloads of money, but I'm just saying, you know, dudes, us dudes, simple creatures, right? You bend over in yoga pants, you're gonna get a like. It's as simple as that. I mean, the reality is, if you look at the comment section of some of these female fitness influencers, their demographic is is like 3% people that are there for some workout tips, and then 97% just thirsty ass dudes. <laughs> but hey, it's a thriving economy and they're cleaning up, so more power to them. Damn! Oh my God, look at the wheels on that. Those are some impressive gains. Oh my God. Finally, I'm starting to feel a little bit fit spired here because those tree trunks are making me feel like a little baby boy right now. Hold on a second, I need to do myself a quick favor. Oh, hell yeah, your boy just had a quad glow up. Anyhow, I think it's great that people want to share their stories online. It's wonderful. I'm not discouraging that. Um, I'm just having a bit of fun here with the with the hashtag. I just, I can't stand putting 30 hashtags on an Instagram post, like spamming every single one of your uploads with, with hashtags. But that's like, that's what every social media expert <laughs> tells you to do, right? If you want to grow your Instagram, just put 30 relevant hashtags in all the posts. Like, don't worry about the content, whether or not the content sucks ass or not. Just make sure you put 30 hashtags on it and you'll definitely be an influencer overnight, probably. Oh, hell yeah, a black and white picture of your Jesus piece. That's dope. Inspiration. You know the funny part, actually, is some of you already know this, but years ago, way before any of this, I was like trying to be a social media expert because I had no self-awareness at the time. And I'm pretty sure I made a video that actually suggested, you know, using 30 hashtags on all your posts in order to find your audience, right? So it's just, hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to revisit Instagram hashtagging and how my strategy has evolved over the months a little bit. We've really come full circle now to where like, I look back at that and I look at it and it makes me want to throw up. Uh, but you know, we all start somewhere. So this is, this is great. Well, as always, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. If you're new here, it would mean the world if you would subscribe and thank you in advance for checking out my expressvpn.com forward slash Leon Lush link that does mean the world and thanks to them for sponsoring this video that's a huge help uh for me and my channel if you could do me one last favor before you go just throw on some yoga pants and head over to the local gym don't even worry about working out screw that noise right just head into the bathroom take an over the shoulder mirror selfie throw that baby up on insta on <laughs> Throw that baby up on Instagram and hit it with 30 relevant hashtags and hit post. And then when you wake up the next morning and you're already an influencer, you hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. God damn it. That was that one was difficult to get through.